it. I feel like you're goading her into saying the right I thing, but that's real. Is it real? And I have several people who are gonna call me and go, how oh, the yeah. fuck you didn't know that? Yeah, so come on. And hang up the phone. Hey friends, it's your girl Emily Curl. We're back in our iHeartRadio studio hanging out with Taylor and Ben from The Pretty Reckless. Hi guys. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Doing well, can't complain. Welcome, it's so good to see you guys in person. I feel like Taylor, we've met so many times over Zoom. I know, it's ah. in the flesh now. It's, We're it's here. nice, I like it. Still with the table distance. Of course, but, of course. Um, how does it feel to be to be back in person for both of you getting to come and do press like this? I was just gonna say, what Zoom? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, kind of trippy, honestly. It's been like, yeah. I'm so used to Zoom now. At this point. So right? It's a little so surreal. It's like a little crazy. Like, are we here right now? Is this happening? <laughs> I like it. Well, you guys have been touring around. We're going to get to that in a minute. Before we do, we're going to play our game called Album Covers Real or Fake in honor of your album, Death by Rock and Roll. So we're going to show you some album covers and you have to tell us if it's something that our team and I, I heart here made up or if it's an actual album. Okay. Are we ready to dive in? Let's, ready to see that first album see. cover? Let's see what we're Okay. Here we go. Here. We have our first one. Tosh Sultana, Terra Firma. Is this a real album cover or is it fake? And also, what kind of music do they play? What do you think it is? Tash Sultan. Uh, I have no idea. I'm gonna go with fake. Ben, what do you say? I'm gonna go with real, and that way one of us wins. <laughs> oh, that's good. I like that strategy. Taylor, do you think that's fake? I think that's fake. I think it's real. Let's see what it is. It is, in fact, real. Oh. <laughs> well, I. Oh, suck. I won. You won. So then you won good that one. You. All I right, good job. It is a real. It's Sorry, their bro. second <laughs> second studio album. <laughs> Um, terra firma in Latin means solid ground. So this was okay. released. Um, I felt like Latin I knew record? terra firma. Yeah, in, and I felt okay. like I knew that. Yeah. In February 2021 was yeah. when this oh. was released. Yeah. Oh, okay, here we go. Our second well, one. <laughs> we have softer February bubblegum. Okay, it's still not a Pink Floyd album cover, but <laughs> but it wants to be almost. It's close. All right, I don't know. Fake. Yeah. I'm why do, Why do you guys say fake, Taylor? You too. I'm gonna go fake because I've never heard of bubblegum, yeah. yeah. but that also doesn't mean much because I pretty much my my. I'm gonna go fake because is, like if that it also is, has a kind of Oasis record. If it is no, but if it is an album cover, it's a little not for reasons I won't say out loud. I, I don't <laughs> think that that's an album cover. Ben, Ben's afraid of talking shit. Doesn't want to do it. Not talking shit. <laughs> All right. Okay, fake. This one is in fact fake. All right, well you're two right. for two. Yeah, here we well, go. Well, that's because it was a shitty album cover. <laughs> <laughs> here we go, now we're getting warmed up. Okay, so the next one we have The Watch. Self-titled album, The Watch. Is this real or fake? Fake. I'm just gonna start agreeing with him because I think he- Well, so oh, you two it, like if that's it trying, little, it looks like, it, well, look, it, it doesn't to, look fancy enough for is an it album cover. supposed to be like that though? Is it supposed it, to be right, like it, could be, it could be an artistic choice. Artistic choice. An artistic choice of pixelations that are too blown out? Uh, <laughs> you never that, know. It is like an old school sometimes. camera. All right, fake, I'll go with fake. fake. Fake? The watch. This one is indeed fake. Right. Okay, Let's you're on a roll. All right, next up we have Crosby, Stills, Nash. Live it up. First of all, I'm a huge Crosby Stills and Nash yes. fan, and I'm trying to, in my head now with streaming, has obliterated all of the album covers in my head. Because you like, don't like see them, you don't like see, hold them. If well, it said Deja Vu, I would have known. Them, too. Um, There's a lot of like. Oh yeah. Okay. Classic I'm gonna covers go that have with new updated versions. What are you going with here? I'm going with it's fake because I know, and I'll probably be wrong, but from what I know of Crosby Stills and Nash records. Unless this is like the later Neil Young thing they did, I'm guessing it's wrong. Well, there's and no guess, Young on here. So I'm guessing it's Nash. It's not oh, Nash and okay. Young. So Good. It's not Neil Young. But, okay, Taylor. I feel like what? What do you think? I feel like you're leaning the opposite. I feel like you're goading her into saying the right I thing, but that's real. Is it real? And I have several people who are going to call me and go, "How oh, the yeah. fuck you didn't know that?" Yeah, it's like, come on. And hang up the phone. Well, let's just go with real because if it's fake, then I still don't look like an idiot. It does look <laughs> if like. You say it's fake and it's real, this. then you look like an idiot. It looks like an album cover. It does though. look like an album cover. So if she, so real. So the final answer is real. I'll go, I'll with, go real. with real. It is real. Yeah. Okay. Four yeah, before. The dial on that one. Okay, are we ready for our next one? Yes. Here we go. So far, we're doing really well. We have Cherry Blossom Weather by Cloud Slope. Yeah, I'm gonna go with fake. Okay, well, why fake? We don't believe it's Cloud a little, Nine. Well, it's a little. I, he's now turned me on to the pixelation thing. Well, not just the pixelation thing, but like it just doesn't seem clever enough to be real. And also, when they do the fake ones, there's all the, always written with overblown Writing. stuff, and yeah. someone's trying too hard to fake it. Oh my gosh! So now Ben's calling out our team. 
<laughs> I'm gonna guess. Unless or just... that's or that's a real. Or it could be. It's fantastic if that's the case. Yeah. Wait, Taylor, cover. you're so good. You're well, I was just like, like, what font do I use on which this one? one? Someone's clicking through. Okay, so what's our final answer for this one? Fake. fake. This one is real. Ooh. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's oh, fake. So... <laughs> that was mean. That's good though. Especially if one of the guys in the band was huge. <laughs> yeah. Okay, our next one we have Animal Collective Strawberry Jam. Now this this album cover is. I feel a lot of things looking at it. What do you guys think about this one? Ooh, I bet it's real. real I'm, gonna I'm gonna go, go real. Oh, see, I was gonna go with real. Oh, you, Ben, you're gonna say fake, Taylor. Taylor, why do you say real? I can see why she says real because I, it looks it's like a it's little, a little. It's a little elaborate. It doesn't look like someone flicked through on fonts. Yeah, and it's a little <laughs> elaborate to be fake. I think like the font's a little specific. The the way it's centered is a little specific. I'm gonna go real. She's probably right, but I'm gonna go fake because it's a little overdone or it's a little on overdone. that. Ah, so okay. I'm gonna go the other way. This one is in fact real. Right. Taylor got this one. Okay, hey. so the photo was taken by band member a Avery Tear, and it's a seven studio album by American experimental pop band Animal Collective. It was released in September 2000. Experimental right. pop. Yeah. Which I feel like that matches. The cover that matches. That does. It goes with the cover. Which I can't believe someone actually took that photo. That's crazy. Okay. Here we go, our next one. We have Jefferson Airplane, 30 seconds over Winterland. Well, first of all, I asked for Pink real. Floyd album covers. <laughs> and every and all the, all of all the real like ones have Pink Floyd like, ripoff rip covers. Ripoff covers. <laughs> well, you got Time, you got the, the Wings. Uh, I'm gonna go real. Real, okay, Ben? Well, since the record's real, yeah. then it's probably real. Right, so real. Can, is this a game where you can make Fake records. I mean, Unless fake that's covers. Oh, we can do fake everything. Covers. We can do Two everything real here. Records. Unless that's taken from something else, and then they stick. Unless, the, yeah. They Unless they're trying to trick you. On it. Um, I'm gonna go real because of the way that. I'm gonna go fake. Right. I'm gonna Ooh. go fake because that doesn't look like, unless, wait, that would be like 68, 69. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm going real because the way, because it's 60s, like the way the font is written is very, you know, very plain. Oh, I'm gonna just have 30 seconds over when yeah. I'm real. So is our final answer, are we both saying yeah, real? It's We're going too real. tricky to not be too real. Tricky. It is real. Yeah. You, okay, I thought y'all were going to miss out. Yeah, it is real. And it Taylor was actually released the... in 1973. Oh, okay. 1973. Um, Wait, they're one of the, the pioneering bands of psychedelic rock. Okay, so we might have to be reading a little blurb about Easy Star's Essential Mix 02. What do we think? Do we think this is real or do we think this is fake? Mm, fake. Fake. Really? That was quick. Why do you say that? Because it's the a, font an essential the mix in O2 with the fonts, I don't know. too. So. Looks a little... Okay, so, so the fonts are really throwing you guys. Okay, this one is in fact fake. Okay. All right. All well, right. we've made record covers, and it's really specific. So I'm um, now once he pointed out the font thing. Yeah, it's, was, it's is a good it hard trick. to choose a font? I guess I never even thought about like this. The well, it's the most it. specific thing that everybody just does. So how do you make how do you it make it original? Yeah, yeah. original. Huh? Or not get in the way. I feel like that's our biggest problem with record like, covers. Is we the photograph? We spend so much time working on that and making right. it like a piece of art before you put it in. And it's like, well, now I have to put writing on it and mess it all up. Like yeah. this is perfect It's a delicate is. balance, I'm sure. It's, okay, our last one, is this real or fake? Well, that's of course real, but I'm looking to see if you guys can mess with well, it. Well, if you look <laughs> how <laughs> that's that's the that's fonts that's are, <laughs> first of all, album cover not even put on it. Yeah. Uh, just written in Roman numerals and written into you the mean grave. album title. Album title. And album, and the, yeah. the band name. That's no, etched into that grave. That's a real grave with a real set. Everything's very specific from the yes. lighting to the, how one side's dark and one side's the light coming in. This one is obviously real because this is Death by Rock and Roll, the Pretty Reckless yes, album, which is so exciting. And again, we kind of talked about this, but how did you decide, how did you know that this was how the cover that you guys wanted to lead with? Well, we went through a lot of different ideas for the record cover and this being the album that it is it it kind of came down to like it's a long and depressing it's a very story. long and depressing story but I'll, I'll simplify and take out the depressing stuff of you know you're born naked with nothing but your soul and you leave this world naked but with nothing but your soul so mm. we kind of put that together in this very raw untouched um very vulnerable, beautiful image is what we we're kind of going for. Yeah, I, mean, I think the, it's interesting that it speaks to the album because you guys have said that rock and roll had saved your lives. Yes. Which, was that a culmination creatively into this album? Do you feel like that sentiment really resonated through it? Oh, 100%. It's kind of what the whole record's about. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, and even the lighting on this of how it's dark on one side and transforms into the light is very reminiscent of the album itself where musically it starts very heavy and about halfway through there's this kind of musical shift um, that where things get a little a little lighter, a little more hopeful, and it's kind of um, this full circle story, and, and the record cover kind of captures that as, as well as we could in one image. Yeah, I mean, you guys are, are play, you're playing this live, you're on, you're on tour, you're about to leave back on tour. How has it been playing to a live audience? 
it's been awesome. It's been so great. It's a bit of a, sh I think it was a bit of a shock at first. Cause really? It's been, this, this last tour was our first tour in almost five years, oh which is God. crazy. Yeah. Um, but no, getting to play the new material. I mean, after putting out a record and doing everything via Zoom and yeah, we <laughs> finally that, get yes. to, you know, crank amps and scream into a microphone and hear them singing it back is so surreal and so cool. Yeah. Like to hear, you know, thousands of people sing Just Put Death by Rock and Roll every night is yes. awesome. Okay, so. I was going to ask, what's your, both of your favorite songs to play live? I like playing Only Love Can Save Me Now. Ooh. Because of the odd time signatures, and you have to be put in the structure yep. instead of more improv -y, which our band's very improvisational usually, it forces us all not to be, yep. which is kind huh. of interesting. Wait, what do you mean by your band's improvisational? Like, do you just sort of feel the, like, the energy from the crowd and decide to go from like there? Like halfway or? through the tour, yeah. <laughs> Taylor got six, we cut a song. So but we still have to fill up a certain set, amount of time. To fill it up, then play a solo for 10 minutes. Oh, interesting. It's improv. Yeah. So it's every, you know, every yeah. night's a little different. Yeah. Little every different. song's well, I'm sure that keeps it interesting same. for you guys, too, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, I mean, it's we the don't fun play part a, about being in a band. There's we don't no play click the tracks. tracks. We don't play the clicks. So it's go. The it's just, songs are, like, every time we get, like, when we're, we're playing the festivals, mm -hmm. they're coming right. up. And you have set amounts of set times, like 45 minutes or an hour or whatever it is at the festival. And our songs are, we don't have a... Are we long? Can't, we, well, whatever they are, you can't time them because they're different times every time. It's however the drummer feels. <laughs> so you're like, let's just feel this out. When he clicks yeah. off the thing. Well, it makes so it hard to, to solidify a set list at shows where you have to play a certain amount of time and get off. Where you have off. to be off. We have to be so off. So interesting, in those cases, time. are yeah. there certain songs you're like, okay, we know we're going to play these three and the rest, let's just see how much time we have for and see what's kind up? Of. Kind of. Kind of. And usually we just go late and piss people off. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And honestly, those are my favorite type of shows, you know? It's like, you love that. The audience loves it. Yeah, well, the promoters don't love it. I yeah. get in trouble, <laughs> but, you know, there's other people who don't love it. really don't like it. No, Stage really managers don't. really don't. No, they get very mad <laughs> Sorry, when you go over. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Charlie. <laughs> well, we're so excited for you guys. Thank you so much for, for coming to the office. Thank sir. We you. get to see you guys. Congratulations. Death by Rock and Roll. It's out now. Make sure you're listening. And you guys are about to play some shows. Where can everyone get tickets? Where can they find you guys? Uh, I think the safest way to say is just go to deathbyrockandroll.com. Or the pretty reckless. Or the pretty reckless dot com. I'm sure there's other places to get tickets, but I know, they'll be on, I know they'll be on the <laughs> website, <laughs> so go so there. Come out with Zoom soon. <laughs> <laughs> and then they do Instagram and Twitter and all that stuff too. But, oh, uh, we love it. Well, congrats, guys. Thank you so much again. Let's give it up one more time for the Pretty Reckless oh, being in the okay. office. Oh. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye, guys.